The market that's probably experiencing the biggest growth uh, currently is China and that is obviously a market that uh, all the big brands are focusing on. In fact, some of the private um, label um, projects that we're working on and um, that's where we've seen the biggest growth come from, China and you know, their entry into China. For a brand like ours where we don't really have a, um, a foothold um, in Hong Kong, it's a little bit more tricky to get into that market. But we're m making it a priority for us to you know, establish a foothold in Hong Kong, hopefully by opening our own store, um, and then um, gain the visibility of the mainland Chinese who go to Hong Kong to see our brand there and start getting into the Chinese market. That's really where you know, I plan, plan to plant some seeds and um, you know, to see that market grow. I think key markets at the moment, um, primarily at Asia, I think uh, China is an incredibly exciting market. I've been working lately with uh, Shanghai and Beijing and I think both from a production point of view and their just sheer appetite for designer brands, um, it's quite in inexhaustible. I think uh, closely following up um, in the next couple of years we can expect to see a similar kind of uh, growth from India and I think that's certainly going to be another key market we, we started off being an export company so that's my that's my roots and that's my history uh, um, for the first 10 years of my business I only exported um, it's only been in uh, recent years that we've we've turned our attention to the UK so I love export and I find it all exciting um, we just uh, this morning heard that a, a, a very big chain across Australia I think they've got like 60 shops or something wants to stock us so Australia actually has been a fantastic market for us um, I'm there's lots of exciting things happening for me in Taiwan, uh, Korea, I need to visit there. Certainly Scandinavia is doing brilliantly. And I'm now excited to turn my attentions back to the States. We used to do very well in the States, but things dropped off over the years as they've become more inward looking. Um, but we've had lots of some of the big department stores looking at us. So, um, you know, all export, I, I think particularly with the increase in the uh, VAT, the more I can export, the, uh, the, the, the less VAT I have to pay back. So it has uh, you know, benefits on all, all, all fronts. We found um, ex-Soviet Union a very interesting and exciting market for us. We were one of the first comers to the market. We opened our first store in Moscow nine years ago and it's been fantastic success. We now have stores in Moscow, St. Petersburg, Kiev, um, Yekaterinburg going to Krasnodar in a couple of weeks time. I me mean, being Russian, never been there, so that's going to be quite interesting. But uh, we find that people in, in Russia are much more open for new designs. They love things that are rather unusual. They've now finally passed the stage when they need to be showing the wealth or the level of um, so-called brand that no one has to have Cartier written over their neck anymore. So they're very open to more creative things. Um, Russian clients usually special bespoke uh, orders are very interesting because they just let you do what you want to do and uh, I think it's a fantastic thing for a designer. I would say at the moment Asia is the one market that everyone's talking about um, purely because you know everything is just booming over there. So Hong Kong, for example, Hong Kong and Macau, um, Japan, these are all countries that, you know, new markets that we're really wanting to target next year. I'm actually from Hong Kong myself, so it almost makes a lot of sense for me to bring my brand home. Um, so that's really the direction that we're going. Um, with the international markets, we've always targeted specifically fine fashion-led boutiques. So you'll find our work in places like Colette in Paris and places like Lane Crawford in Hong Kong, some of the more exotic boutiques in Japan. Um, but that's basically because the people who buy our stuff are very fashion savvy. Um, I'm looking forward to moving back into America with the reduction of the pound and the exchange rates being more favourable. Also, I think New York is definitely a place that we've always had uh, great reception and uh, there are sort of similar retail offerings like ourselves opening up in places like Green Street. So we're really quite 
happy to go back to the United States. That's probably always been our most exciting uh, place to go.